Hey, what's up guys, Anubhav here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your Android device faster and snappier without the installation of any external applications and even root is not needed. So let's get started. Now, before you do this, do keep in mind that you know you can't boost your Android phone in such a great way that it will overcome the flagships which we have on the market right now. But again, you don't need to suffer with lag. You can have a snappy device. Doesn't really matter how much RAM you have by just tweaking a few settings in developer options. Now, before starting, the first thing you want to do is head over to your settings. And from here, scroll down to about phone. Now after you go to about you should see somewhere known as the build number and this is the build number just tap on it seven times. Now after you've tapped on it developer options will be unlocked but since I've already done it it says no need you're already a developer. So go back and you'll find this new section in your settings called the developer options. Over here turn this on and once you've done that scroll all the way down and you should notice some animation settings. This, these are the ones, window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animation duration scale. Now, by default, all of these are set to 1x, and this is basically what makes your Android device look slower. Now, to explain this, uh, rather than talking, you can see we have the window animation scale to 1x. So let's click on it and let's make it 5x. Now, when you open it again, you can see how slowly it comes out and how beautiful it looks but it looks beautiful but you know there is a delay of time and it looks slower again if you select 10x and click on it you can see that it's much slower so you can just keep it at 0.75x or 0.25x but 0.5x is recommended and now you can see how snappy it is the second one is the transition animation scale now again if for explanation purposes if we set this to 5x and go back you can notice how that swoops down and you know you have a much slower transition but again it looks gorgeous and you can see how that comes in again and again you can tweak this as well and set it to 0.5x as you can see we can just see this and 0.5x and again we have the animation duration scale that is the time so again if you set it to 5x it's gonna be much much slower so again just set it to 0.5x and now you could see that it's so fast you know everything all the movements in applications it's very snappy and fast however I wouldn't recommend you to just turn off the animations by just clicking on off because then there is no animation and looks kind of ugly you know things popping out of nowhere and I don't uh, like that so as you can see we've turned everything off and you know everything just pops out of nowhere and looks disgusting since Android you know it should look good at least so just set it to 0.5x and you should be good to go so that was the animation scale now the next thing you can do is go down and you will notice a section known as do not keep activities which basically means destroy every activity as the user uses it now do not enable this some people might tell you that by enable this your device will become much faster because whenever you turn off an app it's not gonna run in the background and terminate it but think about this for a second you turn this on close your Android phone and then again when you go to your recent apps and click on an application that application has to start once again from the beginning thereby using twice the RAM usage which it would otherwise use if that option was turned on so other than making your device faster it actually makes it slower so do not enable this feature this D no do not keep activities second one is called background process limit this basically means the number of apps which can run in your background in, by default it's set to standard limit that is unlimited applications but if you have low RAM you could just set it to 3 or 4 and if you have around 500 MB RAM I would uh, suggest you know along 2 or 3 processes but again guys Android is supposed to be a multitasking platform and that was the main module on which Android was built that it will be multitasking you will be able to transfer from one application to other like that and uh, yeah that's the beauty of Android but again if you think that you know you're suffering from a lot of problems and speed issues then you should just disable that feature so again 
put this play around with it you know depends upon your RAM and stuff I just keep it at standard limit because I haven't faced any problems and uh, yeah by following all these steps your device should be snappier than before and you should be able to enjoy the lag free experience on your Android device so that's it for today's videos guys if you guys like this video leave a like and subscribe to the Android Guru much more videos are coming as my exams are finished I'm full into YouTube now this is Anubhav here signing out guys I'll see you guys in my next one stay awesome people yeah.